Okay. Woo. Let's get the apron on. Thank you, Rosie. Oh, Vicki, that's so sweet. Vicki said, Kelly, you and the girls really bless me each week for your encouraging ideas and hints and for cheering me on. Well, that is awesome, Vicki. Thank you very much for your kind words. Oh, and Barbara says she cooked bacon in her air fryer this morning. Woohoo! Isn't it, Patsy? You are just in time, Patsy. We are getting ready for the food portion. And Dusty got up and looked at me because he thought food, he thought the apron going on meant that he was getting ready to eat. So, yeah, he's not getting to. Okay, so... We are using the air fryers again tonight, and I am going to get two of the things. I'm going to get them finishing up while I talk about the third thing. So, air fryers are awesome when it's super hot outside. Um, you can take them anywhere. You can take them in a camper. You can use them here. I'm at work, and I have two at work. We have two at home. Um, awesome, awesome things. I have some exciting announcements coming up about the air fryers that I use, um, but that's for next week and you have to be patient. So I'm going to get the two things. I'm going to get them going again. I will be right back. thing we have two air fryers going and you can't hear them you really can't hear them so what we are making tonight one of them is going to be in um, with acorn squash so I have I have an acorn squash cooking in this air fryer and I have chicken that have that man's chicken cooking in the other air fryer and hello Tammy Tammy's a little bit late but that is okay what we're gonna use this with though I have to admit I am addicted I am addicted to the um, Buffalo, to Winstar Karen's Buffalo Chicken Dip. Addicted to it. I mean, like, I could eat it every single day. Every single day. Oh, I'm sorry. Thank you. Thank you, Rosie. I was a live guest on um, on Sim Simple Living Products Instagram stories last week on Thursday. So, I'll try to post that video later in this week for anybody that missed it. But, okay. So, I'm addicted to Winstar Karen's buffalo chicken dip and if you want to know how to make it it is already on the blog it's already on www.ifyouhaveanegg.com and if you just search buffalo or if you start win or search winstar or if you search chicken dip buffalo chicken dip you're gonna find it so i'm addicted to it i could eat it every single day so i decided to make something just a little bit different um oh and i missed it what did Haley johnson say that was so funny i missed it mm. So that makes me sad. I want to see what you said. Okay. Anyway, we'll have to come back to it. Okay. And yes, Lynn missed it, so she wants me to post it. So I definitely will. Okay. So tonight, we're going to make something that's just a little bit different. So the buffalo chicken dip, I love it. John loves it. I think John would eat it as many days a week as I do. And I, we do it. So when we make it, sometimes we eat it with tortilla chips because a lot of times, by the time we've made it, I have enough points left that I can use some tort you know use some tortilla chips. Um, it's really good on celery, believe it or not. I think because celery goes well with like buffalo chicken wings, and so the buffalo chicken dip um, is really tasty on that. And um, it's really good in macaroni and cheese. It's really good on. I don't know if you can see it, but I have a spaghetti squash over here that's waiting to be made. Um, but it's really good on spaghetti squash. It's just good in a lot of things. It's good just on a piece of bread. It's really good as a sandwich. But I have a lot of friends who don't eat spicy things. What? And I have a, fam a family member who doesn't eat spicy things. What? So I decided to make something different, a little bit, you know, a little bit different twist on it. This is gonna be, this is gonna be hot bacon honey mustard dip. Okay, Casey hopefully is not watching right now because hot bacon honey mustard dip used to be our thing. That was our jam, not dip. Hot bacon honey mustard on salads. Yeah, so about 50 pounds ago, hot bacon honey mustard was my go-to dressing. It was my go-to salad dressing. So tonight we're going to make, and we're making other things for it to go on, is why I have things going in the air fryer. You do not make this dip in the air fryer. Just going to say, if you try to make it in the air fryer, it's going to be a disaster, I think. Okay. So you're gonna start with, for the hot bacon honey mustard dip, which Jessica will have up on the blog later this week. It's on, it'll be on ifyouhaveanegg.com. The buffalo chicken dip is already there. 
the hot bacon honey mustard dip will be on there at some point this week so she's pretty quick about getting them up when i give her the information but all you're going to do for this one it is a little bit it's a, a few more points so it is two points for a fourth of a cup the buffalo chicken dip is one because it's mostly chicken breast this one's a lot of bacon it's a lot of bacon so this one is going to be two smart points don't think it matters if you're on green purple blue whatever you're on it's going to be two smart points for a quarter of a cup but this flavor is out of this world and trust me a little bit goes a long way so while we're waiting on the other two things to finish up in the air fryer that this is going to go on we're going to start with eight ounces of fat-free cream cheese and if you live in knoxville i have a special announcement for you food city has fat-free cream cheese again they have not had it since april since april so they have it again, fat, actual fat free. I've been having to substitute and up the points for third less fat. So it's one block of fat free cream cheese, let it come to room temperature. So room temperature just means that it's gonna be soft. So see how soft that is? Then you're going to take, this is, let's see, this is a half of a cup of Velveeta shredded cheese. You can use other cheese, just make sure you count the points. The Velveeta melts really well in here, so that's why I like to use it in here. And it's just, it's Velveeta, just like Velveeta cheese slices, but it's in a shredded form. So that's a half a cup of that. Then you're gonna take a fourth of a cup of non-fat plain Greek yogurt and a fourth of a cup of some kind of light, fat-free, sugar-free, something honey mustard. So I'm using the G Hughes um, sugar-free honey mustard and I'll have to show you all a picture of it later but it's just the letter G his last name is Hughes and he has a, a sugar-free honey mustard and Orlando Debbie is the one who introduced me to that but it is um, oh and Trish made the wonton wrapper recipe with the buffalo chicken dip that's awesome so it's a fourth of a cup of non-fat plain Greek yogurt a fourth of a cup of fat-free or sugar-free or some kind of light um, honey mustard this is the G Hughes honey mustard and we're just gonna pour that straight in there And trust me, the G Hughes, ha it has enough flavor. You would never, ever, ever notice that it was sugar-free at all. Okay, so we're gonna start mixing that because we're gonna fold the last ingredient into this. And if I had used, oh, one of our things is ready. If I had chosen to use a deeper bowl, I would not have to be so gentle. Um, as I am right now so you're not trying to completely mix this but we're gonna be making we're gonna be cooking this in the microwave and we just want everything to be semi mixed together when I'm not trying to do this live on Facebook I use oh, <laughs> Betty says she could drink G Hughes honey mustard and Barbara says that New York does not have the Velveeta shredded cheese. So I think, Barbara, if you go um, to Amazon, you can order it. But you can use any kind of cheese. Any kind of cheese that will melt well. Um, I'm going to say probably not fat-free cheese. Um, go ahead and use something with a little, you know, with a little bit of points. And don't go crazy. But you definitely want something that melts well. Okay. If I was at home and I was doing this in a deeper bowl and not trying to do this live and and not trying to do this in a shallow bowl so that y'all could see what I was doing. I usually use a potato masher. I usually just use like just a potato masher and mash all of these ingredients. Okay, but we're gonna mix this again. So this is mixed well enough right now. Then here's the secret ingredient, although it shouldn't be a secret ingredient because it's called hot bacon. It's called hot bacon honey mustard. This is six slices of of um, my candied bacon. So I have a candied bacon recipe that is already on if you have an egg.com. The candied bacon recipe is um, Applegate Sunday bacon or any other bacon that is one point per slice um, just to keep the just to keep the points lower. Um, some of them if you put if you do two slices it jumps it up to three points. Um, yeah Marion don't worry about the fat free cheese. I don't fat free the fat free cream cheese I mean, if you use a third, if you use the third fat cream cheese, um, it's just going to up the points a little bit. But this bacon is our, this is our candied bacon, and it's already on if you have an egg.com. So it's bacon. It's one point per slice bacon. You can use turkey bacon. You can, for my vegetarian friends, you can use veggie bacon. Um, it doesn't quite crumble just like this, but it's really good too. And then it has um, sugar-free syrup on it, and it has Dax Red Mountain Rub. 
and a little bit of Trivia Baking Blend. But that recipe, you will just have, we will spend too much time talking about it if I keep talking about it right now. But you make six slices of that. So for the candied, oh, and thank you, Jessica, just put the recipe up. So for the candied bacon recipe, um, this is six slices or 12 pieces. So on the recipe, I have cut the, I've cut the slices of bacon in half and each one is a piece. So it's 12 pieces or six slices. So this is six slices or 12 pieces of candied bacon. And again, that recipe is already on if you have an egg.com. And this is what Dusty was so excited about. So I'm just gonna kind of mix this in a little bit because again, we're gonna microwave this and then we are going to mix it again. So it's gonna be smooth and creamy by the time we get done. Okay, so here it is so far. And I'm gonna put this in the microwave the first time. Hello, Loretta. I'm gonna put this in the microwave the first time on, um, on about a minute and a half or two minutes and then we're gonna stir it and put it back in. So I'll be right back. And this is the this is the sugar-free um, syrup, and this is the Dax Red Mountain Rub. Can't even tell y'all how much this makes bacon just fabulous, just absolutely fabulous. Okay, so right now we have both of the things that are getting the dip on them are beeping now in my air fryer. So I had two air fryers running the whole time. That microwave is louder than two Simple Living, air Pro Simple Living Products air fryers running at the same time. So the microwave is louder than them. But we're microwaving this for two minutes. We're gonna take it out. We're gonna stir it really well. Um, then we're gonna put it back in for about a minute and then it will be ready to go on the two things that I have in the air fryer. Um, again, I'm gonna run down the list of ingredients again for you really quickly because we have a whole minute before it's going to come out it was an eight ounce um, block of cream cheese and Wanda why does sugar-free syrup make you feel weird it's del it's delicious I mean it's not syrup but this kind the carries actually tastes like syrup I had it this morning for breakfast too um anyway so it was one eight ounce block of fat-free cream cheese let it come to room temperature a fourth of a cup of honey mustard, some kind of sugar-free, fat-free, light, some kind of honey mustard. I use the G Hughes sugar-free honey mustard. Um, a fourth of a cup of non-fat plain Greek yogurt. A half a cup of Velveeta shredded cheese, just a regular Velveeta shredded cheese. If you, ha if you have that available to you, if you do not, just find some other kind of cheese that melts really well, but just try to keep the points, you know, as low as you can. And then six slices or 12 pieces of my recipe candied bacon and again the candied bacon is on it's already on if you have an egg.com and this is a second dip recipe similar to the Winstar Karen's buffalo chicken dip which is also already on there okay let's grab that and stir it real quick burned fingers tonight. Okie dokie. Okay, so this is what it looks like so far. So it's starting to melt. Oh, and Wanda, it may be the sugar, it may be the sugar substitute. It does, it's not a weird that she's talking about. Wanda's talking about the sugar-free, um, Syrup. I don't know. It doesn't. I don't think it has a weird taste. Like a lot of sugar, some sugar-free things are just have like a wonky taste. The sugar-free syrup, the Carrie's sugar-free syrup, to me does not have a weird after aftertaste. And the um, G Hughes sugar-free honey mustard does not definitely does not have a weird aftertaste. As a matter of fact, the G Hughes ketchup. Who has had the G Hughes? Who has had the G Hughes ketchup? It is actually sweeter. I think it is sweeter than normal ketchup. I mean, it's a nice sweet. It's not a, it's not a fake sweet. Okay. Okie dokie. So this is what it looks like after stir number one. We're gonna put it back in for one more minute. Okay, so 
so while that is cooking, let or while that's finishing, let's start talking about the acorn squash. So I have made, I hope y'all can see this. I'll put it out on the plate in a few minutes. But I have made um, acorn squash in the air fryer. So I'll explain how to do that in just a few minutes. But if you've never had acorn squash, butternut squash, spaghetti squash, any of those hard, um, I guess they're, are they winter squashes? Does anybody know? Winter squashes, summer squashes, not sure. Um, winter, I guess they're winter squashes because they're so hard. If you have, if you have avoided trying to cook them because you thought it was going to be hard or it was going to take forever, no. I just proved that the acorn squash is super, super easy to cook in the air fryer. I'm going to show you what to do with it. Yes, and thank you, Lynn. It took me just a second, but I figured it out. Yes, they are winter squashes. Okay. So we're going to go back to the winter squash. We're going to go back to the acorn squash here in just a second. We're going to stir... The dip one more time so this has been in the microwave for two minutes we stirred it really well and then it went back in the microwave for one minute oh it smells so good oh my gosh it smells so good okay so a serving of this is approximately a quarter of a cup and for a quarter of a cup it is about it's two, let's call it two smart points okay so this is what we're gonna do. This is what we're gonna do. And yes, Debbie, I'm not gonna eat the peel, the peel of it. Oh yeah, it's not like delicata squash where I eat the peel. I'm not eating the peel of the acorn squash. Okay, so the first thing that we're gonna do is get the acorn squash out. After I clean up my mess here. Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to move you all. Okay, I'm gonna get an acorn squash out. And while it's finishing, I'll tell you how I made it. So, the acorn squash has been completely cooked in the air fryer, but I am going to take these, can you see that, how pretty those are? I'm going to take these and I'm going to put a little bit of the hot bacon honey mustard dip inside of each one of them. So, I'm going to put about a quarter of a cup. Oh, well, I just made a mess. I'm gonna put about a quarter of a cup of the hot bacon honey mustard dip in each one of these acorn squash. And I lost part of my dip because I've spilled it on a plate, so we'll just have to lick that up later. Okay, I'm gonna put that inside of the acorn, acorn squash and we're gonna put it back in the air fryer. This time on 360, so I don't have to push the temperature button because I'm not changing the temperature, but I'm gonna change the time to five minutes and then push start. Okay, so this dip, just like the buffalo chicken dip, is excellent on, if you have enough points left over for the day, it's excellent on tortilla chips. It's really good on carrots, believe it or not. Um, good on so many things. Bagels. It's really good on bagels. Okay. But I am going to use it tonight on the acorn squash, and I'm going to use it on some chicken. Let me tell you real quick how to cook the acorn squash, though, while that is finishing heating. So on the acorn squash, you're going to cut one in half, and I'll do that as a separate recipe. I'll post that as a separate recipe here in a few days. But on the acorn squash, you're going to wash it. You're going to wash the outside of it first, cut it in half, scoop the seeds out, and then you're going to turn it cut side up in your air fryer, spritz it a little bit with nonstick spray or just with a little bit of the oil and the Evo um, sprayer. You're going to spritz it with a little bit of that. If you are not going to do this, you can put like some cinnamon and sugar on it. Um, you can put a little bit of butter flavoring on it. It would be really, really, really good. Or just a teeny tiny bit of butter. Um, and then you're going to cook it on 400 degrees for 25 minutes. Oh, I forgot to mention, you need to score it first. But while you're waiting on those to finish up, 
I'm going to put this on some chicken and let you see what that looks like. So I also made like three more batches of that man's chicken. And that man's chicken looks like this. So that man's chicken, if you were not here with us last week, we made it and um, we made that last week. And that recipe is already on the blog. So we have that man's chicken in either thighs or in breasts. And these are chicken breasts, what I made tonight. And that is already on if you have an egg.com. But this dip is excellent on the chicken breast. So depending on if you are on blue or purple, how you that you um, don't have to count your chicken breast, or if you're on green, you're just gonna count it per the ounce. Add just a little bit of this dip. Add just a little bit of the hot bacon honey mustard dip to your that man's chicken. And sorry, I only had a green plate, so it's not the prettiest presentation. But you're gonna add just a little bit of the hot bacon honey mustard dip to your that man's chicken. Let's taste it real quick, because I'm hungry. I haven't had supper yet. It is almost nine o'clock here and I haven't had supper yet, so I'm gonna taste it really quick. So again, this was that man's chicken breast. You can always do it. Um, oh, and Sandra's air fryer runs hot. Hers runs a little bit hotter, so she said to only do it for 18 minutes. You should definitely check it. I forgot to mention that. But this is that man's, that man's chicken, the breast with the hot bacon honey mustard dip on it. Oh my gosh. Hmm. Yeah. I'm gonna end up eating all of this before I go home. All of this, just kidding. I'll have to take it home. Fortunately, John has already had supper, so he's not gonna be digging into this and about to pass out. So, again, chips, because the air, the corn, the, I'm sorry, the acorn squash has two more minutes. So, if you got room for chips, if you've got room, I mean, if you have like points left over for chips, you can eat it on any kind of vegetable. Um, cucumber rounds, it's really good on that. Peppers, you could stuff peppers with this. Um, but it's hot bacon honey mustard. If you've ever had hot bacon honey mustard dressing, you know exactly why I'm standing here drooling right now. But hot bacon honey mustard, we've made it into a dip. We've tried it on chicken. I promise you it's good on chips because I've had it on chips too. Um, but I am about to pass out waiting on this acorn squash to come out. I'm so excited. We may actually have to get it out just a minute early since we only have like three minutes left. So hold on just a second. Oh yeah, it's already good. Okay. That is already hot enough. So I'm going to go ahead and take it out. Now these were small acorn squash, so I'm gonna say that each one, each half is about two servings. Oh my gosh, and it is so well cooked, it does not wanna come out, so give me just a second. It is so soft. Oh my gosh, it's so soft. Whew, it is, oh, it is so ready to be eaten. So ready. So again, the acorn squash, was super easy to make in the air fryer. That is not the prettiest presentation, but I do not care. We are still gonna try it. You do not eat the outside of the skin, um, the outside rind of the um, of acorn squash. If you've watched me make delicata squash, you're probably thinking, oh, she's just gonna eat the whole thing. Yeah, you don't do that with the acorn squash. These would be pretty sliced and served. You can just eat straight out of the middle of it So this was an air fryer acorn squash and it has each half, this was a small one, each half has a quarter cup of the hot bacon honey mustard dip in it. And it's gonna be super hot. So let's see how it is. Oh my gosh. Oh, I wish y'all could smell this. Somebody is going to have to, it's gonna have, can you see how steamy that is? Somebody is gonna have to figure out how to do smell a vision for Facebook Live because this is ridiculously, this smells so good, 
so good. And Trish is exactly right. She said this is going to be extremely good inside of the wonton wrappers. She's exactly right. Okay, let it cool off for just, I know we were getting so close to 9 o'clock, but let it cool off. I don't want to burn my mouth. Let it cool off for just a second. Oh, this smells so good. And just so you know, Dusty has given up. He's absolutely given up. And yes, Debbie, it is very much steaming. Mmm. It's perfect. Perfect. It's perfect with the acorn squash. So the acorn squash is just sweet enough that the hot bacon and the honey mustard it has just enough sweetness to it to make that absolutely fabulous. Okay, so we will get these recipes up just as quickly as we can this week. Um, we already have the recipe for that man's chicken. That is already up. The buffalo chicken dip that I've mentioned 15 times, that is already up. The recipe for the um, air fryer acorn squash will be up in just a few days. Jessica will likely get the recipe for the... Um, Hot bacon honey mustard dip up first. I think that one will probably go up first before the acorn squash does. But I hope you all enjoyed yet another fun Sunday evening. Um, I have, and now I've got yummy food to eat before I go home or after I get home. But you all have a great week. We will get these posted just as quickly as we can. If you're watching this later on YouTube, or if you need to go back and listen to this, if you need to go back and watch it, if you need to go back and say, what did she put in that? If it's easier for you to watch, you can go back and watch these on YouTube. It's just youtube.com. Search if you have an egg. If you're watching this from YouTube, pretty, pretty, pretty please. Go ahead and click on the next, or just let the next one roll over because the next video is going to roll over. We have 186 chats. I think I've looked and we have over, it's like 300 videos altogether. But anyway, so go ahead and let the next one roll over. If you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and click this button down here and you're going to subscribe. Click the little bell so that you'll be notified next time. Or if you want to order a spread shirt, which this apron came from spread shirt, that is the next button over. Don't forget, if you order a Wego shirt or if you order any of the printable downloads, those will all of those proceeds will go towards getting us our awesome and cool camera um, that I know that you all will enjoy. So you all have another great evening. Have another great week. I so appreciate you all. Thank you to everyone who has already ordered a t-shirt. Um, but y'all have a great week and we will see you next time. Have a great week.